All right, what's up everyone, El Pro here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the fender on a GMC Jimmy or any S-Series uh, truck from 1995 to 2001. Now, this applies to all the round body trucks. Kinda doesn't matter which one you have. They all are basically the same. Now, if you have a square body truck like the one on screen right now, this tutorial's not for you. Or it might be, I don't know. You could probably just follow it along and maybe you could uh, find out how to get it off yourself, unfortunately, but I don't exactly know how to work with the first generation S series, but I do know the second generation because there's one right here and I get to play around with it all day. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the fender. And uh, now if your fender is a little more crunched up in mine, you probably might have to replace the wheel wheel as well, like the inside of the, of the wheel right here, because that'll probably be crunched in as well. But if yours is just like superficial or just the fender's kind of getting destroyed, like mine right there, I used to have a brush guard on this car and... Uh, it's been destroying my fender as you can see right there it's quite damaged uh, there's a lot of uh, deformation and scratches and stuff and honestly I, I'm not gonna repair that better yet I'll replace it so I have my replacement fender right here got this off a uh, pick your part yard it's like $60 and it is the matching color it's also pewter so essentially what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna teach you guys how to install it so let's get started the first kind of optional step if you want to do this, well, they actually kind of have to do this if you have a GMC or an Oldsmobile, is uh, take off your body cladding right here like this. So this actually does come off. It's held in by some tape. You can see I removed mine. It's also held in by three bolts. Now, if you want to replace the tape, you can just use this, basically. The, you know, super strength bonding tape. And you can use that to put this back on. Now, I'm going to put this back on my good fender, which is over there. And put this back on the other fender because the one that came on my fender the donor is kind of messed up but mine's in good shape so i'm gonna use this instead so i would recommend you take this out first it's held in by these three little bolts and it's also held in by a push pin right here that goes under the truck and if you don't if you just pull it just without taking the body cladding off make sure at least you pull the pin off because you will break it as you can see i did that at the pick your part yard i literally just yanked it off and uh you can see I broke it so if you don't want to break yours or if you just don't care you could just pull it off but I, I would recommend you take this off and just kind of refurbish it because you know these are kind of hard to find in really good shape mine's in okay shape it's not perfect but it doesn't look too bad so I would recommend you take it off just right right off the bat because you know this might get in your way when you're taking it off that's kind of step one but that's optional all right so in case you're wondering what a push pin looks like here you go this is what the push pin underneath will look like and uh, essentially it'll be pushed in and then you can just get like a uh, like a you know small flathead and then just pry it off and eventually this will just come off like that and uh, you can take this off and this is what's this one's located right under here and it will be under the truck so this is what you take off if you don't take this off you'll break it as you just saw before and in case you're wondering what the little bolts are they're you they're right here there was one two three and they are located right here on the uh, actual truck so just take those off if you want to take your body cladding off just do it properly so there's that all right to begin we have to get under the hood so let's do that now all right the next step is to actually take off three little wiring harnesses on the fender so i'm gonna show you which one they are one of the ones you're gonna have to remove is uh is right here i don't know if you can see this here right there there's a little wiring harness there you go it's right there it's this one right here you're gonna have to remove that because it's on your fender. Then the next one you need to remove is your antenna cable, which is this. I literally just pulled it up so we can see it. This one's zip tied, but that's okay. I'll probably just cut that off. And as for the one you really don't want to mess up is this one right here. Um, I don't know what this is for, but all I know is it's there. It's attached to the fender, so you kind of have to get uh, get this disconnected and out of the way. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to do that right now because I actually haven't done it properly. I actually ripped it off my other fender, so I'm gonna do this properly on this fender. So you gotta remove this as well because it will be attached to your uh, fender and if you don't remove it you will rip it off and replacing this will be no fun. And the other bolt you might want to remove right now is this. This is one of these. This is actually a 15 millimeter bolt and you have to remove this first. And then you can just close the hood and you can go ahead and remove the bolt that holds the hinge in place. Because uh, again your fender will be attached to the hinge, you can see. Uh, this is where the hinge would be so you have to remove 
the hood hinge, which you take off by taking off this little bolt right here, take off the plastic, and then you have to remove this. So you can take off your hood. And that's that, so let's get started. All right, status report, uh, fail. As you can see, snapped right off. There's the little thing. So, I don't know, I'm about to recommend that you just snap this off. Just, just snap, just whenever you're done, just tuck it back over here. To be honest. <laughs> so I took the PCM out just because it's kind of annoying to work around here when the PCM is in the way. So I took the, the PCM, it's right there. These are pretty easy to get out. You just gotta take out the blue little tabs. You pull up on this, and then this will just slide out from here. Pull this up, slide out, and then you can take the PCM off. Uh, the connectors, and then you can take it off. There's like three 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three. And uh, you just get those off. PCM comes out, and uh, you can see you got plenty of room to get this uh, this wire here. Uh, get this uh, away, not this one. This other wire, and oh, where's the other one? This one down. There's another one down here. Hold on, let me. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see. There it is. There it is. You can sort of see it there. It's the blue thing. There's another one that connects to this thing. I don't know what it is, but basically, quick tutorial on how to take these off. You just basically go with your flathead screwdriver. You lift this up. You lift this up. A little tab. And it basically pops off, just like that. So you just lift it. As you can see, pretty much comes right off. Okay, now, there you go. So yeah, it would help a lot to just take off the battery, but you know, I'm, I'm being lazy here, so there you go. Connectors loose. So there's that disconnected. And then you have these little uh these little holders. So for this, I mean I would just rip it off, but to be honest here, I think I can take these off too. You can just uh pull up on this and then the connector will just open. So if you pull up on this little tab right here, pull up on this. And so let me just shut it. So just pull up on that little tab. And oh. Just go ahead and just pull up the little tab and then it just should just pop off. So let me just do that again. Alright, here it goes. So you can see, pops off. And then you can get your wire out of here. And that's plugged into here. And then same thing, you just go ahead and uh, lift this, and then your wire comes out. Just lift out the little tab right there. And now, th this one has like a push pin, but this doesn't come out very easily, so I'm going to keep uh, manipulating it, try to get it out of the, the fender here, so I can get to removing this. So here we go. Okay, status report. Uh, new recommendation. Honestly, I, I recommend you just rip this off. As you can see, this, again, just snapped. Uh, old brittle plastic, right? So, I finally did get them, managed to get them out, but I basically uh, had to use the, 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 the snips to basically get those off. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You could just probably just tuck them back where they were, right here, with your new fender. Yeah, I, I mean, these didn't come off that easy. So, I guess what we could do is just leave it at that. And then we have our antenna connector right here. And uh, all you got to do is basically just wiggle this. And it pops off like that. So you can see, there's your little antenna. So you just leave that there, make sure you find it. And uh, there's your antenna. This attaches to here. You don't have to remove this. Mine already has one attached to it, so. All right, let's get cracking and remove the fender then. Okay, we're back. And uh, step one is to remove this bolt. This is actually a 13 millimeter bolt. So get your uh, 13 millimeter socket. 13 millimeter socket. You're gonna have to remove the bolt like this. Ok, 
Okay, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and uh, remove your headlights. So what you do is there's a little clips. There's some clips back here. I'll just go ahead and show you. Some clips right here. You just pull these off. Your headlight assembly basically falls out. And there's a couple more bolts down here. So let me just go ahead and show you right here. There's uh, you got to remove the basically remove the battery tray, and there's one down here too. This is all these are all 13 millimeter bolts. You also got to remove this. But basically, we'll get to that in a minute. The first thing you actually got to do is rem basically remove the plastic piece at the end of the hood and uh, take the hinge bolt out. So let me show you what that means. Okay, so right here, what you will find is a small little uh, Phillips head or. Um, Usually, if your car hasn't been uh, modified, you will have one of these instead. So this is, a, I think, a 9 16th. I'm not quite sure. But basically, you're going to have a small nut right here or a Phillips head if your car has been kind of uh, modified. And you're going to basically remove this right here. And this will basically have the little hinge. And you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket and a wrench to take the bolt, uh, hinge bolt out so you can basically detach it from the fender. So let's do that now. All right, to get to that little bolt, you're going to need this little contraption. This is a 3 8 to quarter inch conversion or adapter. This is a quarter inch socket and uh, this is your little uh, Phillips, you know, thing. And you're going to have to do is uh, remove this little bolt right here. So let's do that now. Okay, so someone decided to use uh, this, this little screw thingy. And I stripped it out while I was doing it. So I had to basically uh, get a little physical with it and had to get it off. But finally, now I've gotten it off. I'm pretty sure that's not factory, by the way. So yours should just have a small little bolt that just holds it onto the uh, in there. So mine doesn't have that because someone decided to use uh, what appears to be uh, self-tapping screws. But that's okay. Finally got it off. So you can see, get this off. All right. Next step is to take this off right here. So as you can see, there's a little uh, this is little like bolt with a nut on it. And this is what holds the hood onto the fender. So let's go ahead and remove that. All right, I'm ready to go right here. Got my wrench, got my uh, 13 millimeter socket. And it's time to get this out of here. Let's just do this. All right, now we have the bolt, the, the nut right here. As you can see, I got it off. So now what you have to do is remove this bolt. So once you remove this bolt, the, this hinge will just, you know, let the hood go. So what I'm going to go to do is shut the hood so I can take that off. Okay, so after you remove all your, like, stuff from in, in here in the fender, there's going to be, like, some kind of you got to remove. I already showed you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery just because I need to get access because there is uh, a couple of things being held on. You know, there's a battery bolt that goes through the fender, so you got to get it off. So let's do that now. All right, so the battery's out, as you can see. Now it's time to take the battery tray out. You have to take the battery tray out to go ahead and uh, get the fender off because it's attached to it. So let me show you what I mean. So the battery tray has to come out. As you can see, it holds the fender. As you can see, that, that holds the battery tray right there. So that's what holds the battery tray onto the fender. So you got to take that out too. So here we go. All right, so the only one that should be removed is this one right here because this is the only one to touch the fender, so let me do that right now. All right, now it's time to remove this little bolt here, so let me do that now. As you can see, the bolt comes out and it's loose from the fender right there bolt and then this would hold the fender right there so now you got to take these two bolts out and then take the rest out so let me show you where they are so there's two here and then there's like six more under in the wheel well there's one underneath 
And there's a couple by the bumper, so let me show you where they all are. So we're going to start with these two first. All right, so for me, I got the two bolts out. For some reason, they're different sizes, but as you can see, one's like uh, kind of weird. They're just like longer. One is longer than the other. It's kind of strange. But there's the two bolts that go right here. So you just get those two out, and then you have to remove uh, six more in the wheel well. So let me show you where those are. All right, so in the wheel well, in there, there's six bolts holding that into the holding the fender into the car. So let me just go ahead and remove those. They're all 13 millimeter bolts. All the bolts you're seeing. Uh, for the fender are all 13 millimeter every single one the battery the ones up there all of them the ones in here They're all 13 millimeters. So let me just go ahead and get those out Also, you may need a small extension for some of the ones that up here because they're a little harder to reach with just a socket or a deep socket might work So just keep that in mind All right, I'm all done right there. I got all the bolts out. They're all right here. They're all right here. So uh, that's six bolts right there. You got to get those out. They're all 13 millimeters. They're different lengths apparently. So yeah, but anyways, those are that. So now we have to go into the car and get a couple bolts out of there because there's some in the door jam. So let me show you. All right, so for this part of the tutorial, I recommend uh, a small extension and a big extension because you're gonna need to reach into those bolts in there because those also hold the fender in. So let me show you here. So there is one up top right here. You might be able to see it. It's this one right here. There's a bolt right here. And then there's another one down there. Now, I don't recommend you open the door all the way because it might actually get in the way. So just open it a little bit. Get your uh, 13 millimeter again and uh, get them off. So here we go. Also, you should be careful when trying to extract these bolts because they might fall in there and they're kind of hard to get back out. So try to get them, you know, while they're still there because they'll fall in and it might be a little harder to get. So just keep your bolts, you know, to your, in your hands. All right, so there you go. There's your other bolt. So then let's go to the front of the bumper and get the last couple bolts out. As you may have been able to notice by now, there's a lot of bolts to get in here, but as you can see, it's starting to loosen the fender. So we just got a couple more left right in this area. There's another 13 millimeter bolt you have to remove right here. There's a couple more. There's one left in the bottom. There's actually two left in the bottom here. I'll show you where they are. But you have this one as well. It's a 13 millimeter bolt, and I recommend you use a wrench instead of a socket and ratchet because they don't really fit in there that well. So you can see it's kind of hard to get to them. So you got to remove this one and there's one like down here You can't see it because the bumpers in the way, but there's one right there, too So let me just get my wrench and go ahead and take those off
All right, so now that we got that ball off with an entire wrench, uh, that took forever. Uh, it took about five minutes. So there it is. And now you gotta remove another one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is right there. Yeah, I'll adjust the camera so you can see it better. All right, so it's really hard to see, but there is a bolt right here where my wrench is on. So I'm on a bolt right now. So there's one down there, but it's really hard to see on camera, so I'll just take it off anyways. All right, so for this one, what you could do is you could actually get your ratchet and come in from underneath. As you can see, I'm underneath now. And you just take this bolt off. All right, so here's a better angle of what I'm doing. The bolt is up where I showed you, but it's I'm, I'm basically accessing it through here to try to take it off, to, you know, so I can get it off. So let me show you right here. The ratchet is right here, so I just turn it, and this should hopefully get the bolt off. Okay, just a quick break right here. What I forgot to tell you guys is you can take this little bumper, uh, just kind of slide it out of the way. So what you do, just grab it, and pull it. So just grab it, pull it. And you just get it out of the way like that. And this gives you a little more room that kind of works. So let me just get the bolt off. If you have an S10 or, you know, if you have a truck with a metal bumper, you have to take it off. If you don't have a metal bumper, just have a bumper cover and a metal brace underneath. You can basically just kind of wiggle this out of the way. There's a little post that's right here, and then that's what holds the, bump, the plastic bumper onto the fender. So you just have to wiggle that out of the way, and then it gives you more room to access the bolt from the top. So here, I'm going to take it off now. Alright, so for this you might have to get strong because it's starting to bind up pretty hard because this is kind of the last bolt holding it in. This is like the last fastener that's in there. There's one more that I have to show you, but other than that, this thing's about to come off. So I finally got the fender out. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys about this uh, little circuit. I think it's like a fuse and a relay, I don't know, something like that. But this actually attaches to the inner side of the fender as well, and it's held in by uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. So I forgot to take these out, but I did it as, as the fender came out. And uh, if, again, if you have a plastic bumper, you can actually just manipulate the fender to come out. So it's just held in by this little like clip thing right here. This is what holds it in. And there's a little like post on the fender. This, and then this is what grabs onto your bumper. Uh, I forgot to give you, tell you guys about the last bolt. So the, the bolt I was taking off since uh, this one came out, it's good. And the last bolt that I forgot to, well, I didn't really show you guys because I ran out of space, <laughs> uh, is right here. So it's like facing, uh, so you'd have to go in like around and like remove it. So the head is uh, on this side, it's inside. And uh, look at all the crap that came out. That that was all just in here. Uh, so yeah, make sure you clean it out because, you know, it's a good time. And finally, I got my fender out. It's all crunched up. You can see this is why you don't run a brush guard. Uh, at least, well, I probably won't do that again. Uh, all right, there you go. Fender's off. So let's just. All right, so let's just check this here. And this is my good fender. So you can see, it looks great. Uh, I, I did give it a nice little polish, just like some polish and wax, and it looks and they turned out pretty nice. You can see me right there. So it's time to put the back on there. So I would just end it here, except uh, I'm going to show you guys how to put this back on. So here we go. I'm going to put this back on. All right, here you go. Put it back, putting it back together. Just like that, it's back on. Tighten all, I had to tighten all the bolts, so here we go. Tighten all the bolts.
All right, quick update here. Uh, when you're reinstalling a fender, you're gonna have to manipulate it, basically get all the bolt holes to line up. So that's actually gonna take quite a while. So I'm not gonna bother to record that, but basically you have to get it so that all the bolt holes align so that you can put them all back together. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So this is gonna take quite a while, so I'm not gonna show you, but basically just as the story is, make sure the, the holes line up so that you can put the bolts in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and just continue to play with this until I can get it to where I want it. Uh, as for the uh, as for the evenness of the hood, that's actually not difficult thanks to the fact that the hinge is just kind of set in place. And from what I do know, this fender isn't bent, so if, unless your fender was bent or really messed up pretty hard and just bashed the whole thing in, this shouldn't be that difficult. But you know, again, it just takes a lot of just wiggling it around and getting it where you want it. So I'm gonna do that just for the time being. All right, so another update here. So kind of a a bit of a strategy that I've come up with now is uh, just try to put, like kind of just put in all the bolts, just kind of gradually. Just don't tighten them, just put them in so that the fender can basically line itself up. So you can see I got this in here, that in here. And then uh, there's a couple of them already just kind of in there. They're not tight, they're just in there. And this just kind of should help you put the fender in where it should go as you can see I don't think my gaps are that bad it's kind of big but hey I mean let's have a look here okay the gap should be tighter but you know I feel like that should probably shrink once I tighten the bolts down because then I'll just like pull the fender towards uh, this way so I have those in and I have to get the one to the back the one that's behind this it's kind of hard to get to but I'm gonna do it so that's kind of the key that I have to put in the fender back on uh, just make sure all the bolt holes align and uh, just kind of tighten them as you go so I'm just gonna keep on tightening these down and uh, I should be done here pretty soon okay guys so now I finally basically got all like the big bolts on like I got the bottom one so the bottom one's done the ones on here are just on there the ones in the doors are on, the ones on the hood are on, and uh, the one on the corner is on. Other than that, I don't. Uh, they haven't been tightened down yet, so I guess uh, it's time to do that now. Hey. All right, so basically uh, all the, the hard part is essentially complete. I, I got all the fasteners back on. Here, I'm gonna show you real quick. Yeah, I got basically all the fasteners back on. You know, they're, they're all back. There's one, two, and then three, and four, five. Over here, yep, there they are. And then I got the ones inside the doors done. Here you'll be able to see one. There's one there. I, I did the other one too. And then I did the bolt that goes underneath here, then behind it. it. Goes behind that. And then there's these. They're all finished, buttoned up. And now we get to do the fun part, which is uh, put this all, put this other mask back in. So I have this. 
so I have the PCM to put back and then I have the little like fuse thing and then the battery chair has to be put back so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll uh, show you the final result okay back in here gotta put the connectors back so we gotta do the let's see which one is this yeah it's this one so the connector you want is this and then you just have to put it all back in here and then you just push it in and then it just snaps which makes a little snap sound so let me just do that again there and then you just pull it in that makes a little snap sound just like that and then it's on and then I already, I already plugged in the radio antenna. It's, I did that in the background while uh, the camera basically died. So I, I got that one ready. So And then uh, we have to do the relay, which goes here. It goes like tucked in right here. You have to put the relay back. I'm going to go ahead and button it up as well because uh, I forgot about it just till a little bit ago. So I have to put this relay back where it goes, put this little bolt back on, and then we also have to uh, put the battery back in, put this, uh, put the battery bolt back on, put the PCM back, so we're getting there, we're almost done, so let me just get this done. All right, that's done. So the fuse is back on. Now let's go ahead and put the rest, the, the PCM back on, because uh, yeah, let me show you the PCM is uh, gone. I had to use it to take these little like, take these stuff off right here. Ultimately, I never got it off. I just kind of threw it to the side here. So let me go ahead and uh, put this all back on and get this underway. All right, PCM is back on. As you can see, the PCM is back on. It's time to put the battery back on. A uh, quick side note: I'm not putting the bolt back on on this uh, plastic piece right here because uh, it's. I gotta go get the original bolt, so I'm gonna do that another another time. Now it's time to put the battery back in for real. Okay, so real quick, um, so annoyingly when it comes to S10 trucks, uh, the, the battery now goes down there, and uh, usually you have to do like something kind of uh, ingenious to get that in there. So I'm going to show you something how to 
I'm gonna show you how to get the nut in there really nice and easy. So what you do is you get your nut and you get a piece of paper and then you stick your nut with a piece of paper into the socket. So you just push it in like so. So you can see I pushed in the, the paper. You just rip the paper off. The nut doesn't fall off any one time. Just so as you can see that works perfect and I can put it back in. So that's how you install a uh, S10 battery nut without basically uh, losing it. So there's it. There you go. So the light is now back. Shouldn't move anymore. There you go. So as you can see, switch are closed. There we go. And there we are. That is how you replace the fender on a GMC Jimmy uh, or any S10 truck, really. So you can see, finally got it on there. So here's the after and then before. As you can see, quite damaged. You know, that's why I don't run a brush guard anymore. But here we go. Now it's nice and mint. It's back how it should be. Now, in case you're wondering what brush guard do I mean, I mean this thing right here. This is the actual one I took, pulled off the, the truck. Uh, this was rubbing on the fender pretty bad. Uh, and I found out it's bent, so, I mean, no duh. But basically, I'm not running that anymore. That's basically going to the trash now. And I have repaired the fender. Now for the grand finale, we get to install my little side molding. So, I'm going to get my tape and get this done. All right, so now that we're ready to put on our side molding, get some soap water and uh, spray this down real quick. Just spray it down, get, it, get some soap water on there, and then clean it. You want this to be clean because, you know, you want your glue to adhere to your to the fender, you know. So, as you can see, this is where the glue would go, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my tape and uh, put some tape on there. Clean it nice and good. All right, time to get my tape. All right, so this is the tape I'm talking about right here. You're gonna get some of this and put it on the back of this, so you can go ahead and put it back on, along with the bolts and the clip. Out. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna put some of the tape on. So you just grab, so you get yourself a little bit of tape. And then you stick it onto your fender piece here. Just give it a nice uh, firm press so the glue starts to stick. As you can see. So this is the one off the old fender, the one I just took off. It's in much nicer shape than the one I got off this fender. Let me show you again. This is the one I got off this fender. As you can see, it's got some scrapes in it. Uh, I'm going to put this one on. This one has no scrapes in it. So... Put it on, then you get the uh, other side. Right, so here's the other side, you just take this off, and then carefully put this back onto your truck. The other trick that you should probably consider is uh, try to get the uh, the bolts to line up so let me go grab the bolts real quick so you got to get these tiny bolts to fit in there all right so let me just show you real quick how to put in the pin so you take out the little you take out the little part in here the little centerpiece and you just go ahead and uh, stick it in 
Then when you're done, you just push it back in. Just like that. Clip is back on. And then there's some more right here. That's for the rest, but there we go. We finally got our clip back on. And then the body cladding is back on. You just line the bolts and then push here. If you want to press your tape, so make sure it's nice and sealed. As you can see, and there we are. Fender is done. All right, everyone, El Pro. I'm back inside the house now. I'm here at my desk, my the ones you the the, the clean the cleanest desk you've basically ever seen. Uh, I'm back inside. So, anyways, I forgot to do an outro for the Fender replacement video. So here's the outro. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching that video. I uh, hope you found it helpful. You know, replacing your own Fender and stuff. Uh, I got some more car stuff off my sleeve. You know, quarantine's been driving me nuts as well, honestly. Uh, you know, but hope everyone's staying safe. And anyways, peace out.